welcome back everybody and this is magma here this video is gonna be another snapshot redstone creation video and if you missed the one from yesterday basically this is gonna be an ongoing series of different redstone contraptions and other inventions that I personally make inside of the newest snapshots keep in mind throughout this entire video that I am not a professional redstoner or expert or in any way shape or form so let's get right into this. Yesterday I showed you my Pokemon and my custom golems. Today I'm going to be showing you some, you know, less completely big and fantastic and impressive. But all the same, I think that, I think that what I've been doing is kind of cool. So I'm just tinkering around with the settings. I don't want it to crash because it's been crashing quite a lot for me. I don't know why. If you hear static, that's uh, Rainstar who's actually listening in. And all of this. See, I'm getting this weird glitch. I don't. It's probably something to do with my uh, computer. But I'm getting very, very lag and it crashes. So, I've had to restart recording multiple times. I don't. I have no idea why this is happening. If I hadn't gone back into escape, it would have crashed again. You know what? I'll see you guys in just a second. I'll go fix this problem. And we're back. In my world, that took around four minutes, but for you, it was almost instantaneous. I'll fix the problem, and hopefully... I'm gonna turn my render distance even more down, because I want, I want all the FPS for this here bid. I'm going to try to get better FPS for my future vids. I'm sorry, guys. Alright, but this, next creation, and it's... I'm not a fisher. I've never fished in my life. But I just thought this would be a kind of cool thing to do in Minecraft. I'll give you a... This is the contraption. And I'll give you a little demonstration. First of all, you might realize that I have an enchanted fishing rod. At Lure, that's a new enchantment in the snapshots. They added fishing rod enchantments. Lure and Luck of the Sea. Lure gives you a higher chance to catch a fish. Luck of the Sea gets you extra loot. They added loot for fishing. So if you fish, you can fish up boots and like junk. Or you can fish up really cool stuff. So we're just going to wait for a fish. No, my audio didn't turn off. It's just... Wait! I got a fish! Oh, it was a it was a barracuda. It's 24 pounds. There we go. See? And, you know, I'll give you one more example. You know, I'm gonna tab out for a sec. Oh, yeah. You guys are gonna... Property thing music. There we go. We'll have this playing while we try to uh, get this working. Hopefully you can hear the Jeopardy music. Can you? Mm. I'm trying so- Oh no, not an ad. Screw that. Fail attempt. Hopefully- Probably half of my viewers just left the video right there and then. You know, we can have normal music. Normal Minecraft music to- To calm us while we fish. Here comes a fish! Gotcha! Oh. Well, that, I guess that's one of the crap that you can fish up. But, okay, that was a fail, but sometimes it doesn't... I don't know why it didn't work that time. I don't know. Whatever. But you get the idea, it does the barracuda. And you know what? Instead of fishing, I'm just going to set the scoreboard. You know, I'm going to make a command lock. That act... This is basically as if we caught a fish. Scoreboard players set at P fish one. So if we had caught a fish right then it would have been cod. 
sturgeon, 42 pounds, mackerel, 2 pounds, shark, <laughs> shark, 921 pounds, heck yeah, I got a shark. Okay, so, and here is how the contraption works. Basically, it's not random. I don't know how to make random numbers in Minecraft, but this is the closest I could get. This checks for somebody who has a score of fish. That's zero. And if they do have a score of fish that's zero, it has, it powers everything. Now, a, a, um, think about these things which are called um, hoppers. They, tra they trans, they make items move, basically. Um, if there's a redstone current over them, the item gets stuck. It can't move. So, I'll just, let me just find out where... Here it is. That happens to be a diamond. And it can't move, because there's redstone over it. But there isn't... So If there's someone with a score of 1, which is what this command block does, then it turns off. But it only turns off for one tick. Because, at the same time, over here, this is checking for someone who has 1, and if they ever do have one, after only one tick, which is what this comparator is set to, first it says that for the top, but it also sets it back to zero. So after only one in-game tick, it goes from having a score of fish of one to a score of fish to zero. And in that way, it goes on, off, on in a very short amount of time. And after that, after three ticks, it goes, it says that again. So it has the dashes. So it says dash, on, off, on, dash. And all of these command blocks just have, um, if you name an anvil, I mean, if, if you name a command block, something with an anvil, um, it displays that. So like all these command blocks are just called angler. And that's why it says angler in chat. So that's the fishing contraption. And let, let, uh, let us head over to the next one, which is very, very simple. It only uses these nine command blocks. It's incredibly, incredibly simple. So for this, we're gonna need a diamond pickaxe. So we have these ores. We have gold ore, I mean, di diamond ore, gold ore, and emerald ore. And, let's, you know, we'll go for emerald. And it says magma 83 struck emerald, that's my name. And mine score. Obviously, that's just another command block that's named mine underscore score. So, and then the gold says Magma 3 struck gold. You do diamond, it says Magma 3 struck diamond. And the reason that these blocks reappear is I just, I, I guess I just wanted to set it up because that that's the entire contraption over there, but I just wanted to add a little something extra. And so this is just a um, decently long clock that Get away from me, you slimes. A decently long clock that activates these three command blocks. It basically just sets. I went over a set block command in the last video. This sets that block to emerald ore, that block to gold ore, and that block to diamond ore. So every time that happens, basically the block gets replaced. So I hit that, struck gold ore, then it goes back. So I could. I could hit all of them and it will all reappear. And. It's very, very simple, but it's a really cool function. Basically, what you can do is scoreboard objectives list. What you can do is, let's look at Emerald Door. It's, it's cannot talk today. Displays as Emerald Door and is type stat.mineblock. There are a ton of different criteria for command blocks that you can use. So, scoreboard objectives create test no wait no not create and these are only some of them because you can't even scroll up so there's stat.mine block there's stat.craft item there's stat.use item stat.beacon basically a ton of different things can now be detected using command box. So basically, this is just detecting if you've mined diamond ore, or if you've mined emerald ore, or if you've mined gold ore, and then it says, if it does, it just says, I couldn't get at Peter. It's a glitch in the snapshots. I, oh, 
Oh yeah, it was a, it was a glitch in the previous snapshot. It was fixed here, so I could just say at p and do I say it's gold ore? So I'll say that. But there's a glitch in the uh, in the snapshot that I made this in. I used I made it in a previous snapshot. But yeah, that's that contraption. And next thing I want to show you is just something I made instant. I found out that you could use a slash summon command. It's incredibly simple, you could make it, anybody could make it, but I just thought it was kind of cool. It's a cannon that fires stone, and then explodes. It's, it is really that simple. Not much more to say except to explain how it works. Oh, and this is a block called Packed Ice. It's ice that it doesn't melt. Yay for Mojang! Okay. Basically, when this button is pressed, activates these two command blocks that summons... TNT, which is like a millisecond to explode, spawns right here. That's what gives it the the boom right here. It also spawns falling sand, and it has tile ID. I went over tile ID in the previous video as well. Tile ID of stone, which is one time of one. That's just another thing, and then it has this motion, which is basically just. Motion on the x-axis, motion on the y-axis, and motion on the z-axis. And then motion... yeah. Yeah. And just fires over there. Mm, that's just proof of concept. I'm not very good at these kind of things, but... And... Then with this, is another cannon that I made. Press it. It's like, uh... I don't know, it's like... He uses a new... I don't know what it is. It's just... I don't know. Just... Just... It, it, it is what it is. It, it truly just is what it is. I don't know. It's the same thing. Just spawns that. Then it spawns that. And there's nothing else to it. And then this, I'm not, I'm just kind of going on rants at this point, because none of this stuff is actually cool. I'll be, I'll make, I'll actually make new stuff in the next video. This is, a. Uh... Wait. Wasn't I... Mmm. Mmm. I don't know what's going on. Wait. I do know what's going on. I know exactly what's going on. Um. Eesh. Wow. Um. Oh yeah, what this is, is it's incredibly, incredibly fast. So we have a piston that's both on and off at the same time. The way it works is this. I forget how this works. I just made this in a few minutes. I don't think I really knew what I was doing. I really don't. And then I. I, I oh, it makes diamond blocks too. I don't know. I swear, this video is going to lose all my subscribers, because the last video was really good, well, in my opinion. I liked it. I really did enjoy it. Also, also, if you actually stuck around until this point, did you notice the new, uh, you know, the new intro? Hmm? Did you notice the new intro? Did you like the new intro? I liked it. I liked it very much. It was made... By Rainstar! Go visit his channel right now, subscribe to him, do everything, like his videos, subscribe to him, watch all of his videos. He says he doesn't really care, like, if you, if you like, dislike his videos. Um, so dislike his videos, that, I think he would appreciate that. He might still be listening into this recording. He is! Say hello! Is he? Wait, what? Hi! No, that <laughs> Rainstar. Rainstar, unmute your mic. I'm still recording, but still, unmute your YOLO. mic. YOLO! YOLO! 
You no no talk. You're the one who made my intro. I'm giving I'm giving a shout out to you. Unmute your mic or Hello. Uh, did you hear me telling people to dislike your vids? What? I was telling people to dislike your vids. Why? Because you said you didn't care. <laughs> I said, uh big shout out to Rainstar. Go dislike his vids. He doesn't really care. No, I do care. Okay, don't don't dislike his vids. Don't don't dislike any of his videos. But he made my intro, so if you like it, he's actually gonna make me a new one, cause, well, yeah, he is gonna make me another one, which is awesome. He's basically my art director. He made my background. He made everything. He's helped me so much with everything. He's supporting me. He's doing all the stuff. Yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much all I have for this video. I'll bet nobody stuck around until the end, but if they did, the password for a free shout-out is Indigo. So, say the password in the comments and uh, you may get a shout-out, because it means that you are dedicated. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.